Bruce Kowalski. Your monthly universal basic income has been deposited into your account. For more information, press details. You have been paid 2000 Central Bank Digital Tokens. The following fees are being deducted. Accommodation fee. Food ration fee. Recycling fee. Clean energy fee. Personal greenhouse gas emissions fee. Climate change fee. Diversity fee. Your current remaining balance is 5 central bank digital tokens, and if not spent, it will expire in 7 days. Call Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Wahava Kakwadash. In the Hebrew, thus giving all praises to the Most High Yahweh. In the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who is our Lord and Savior, and the Holy Spirit, which is the Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, along with the Holy Spirit, to give us His truth. Honors to the brethren that's laboring doing the work to push the gospel, risking their life and freedom to do so. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, which should be the one third of the true Israelites who are the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians, who are returning back to Yahweh and Yahweh Shai during these final moments so that he will have mercy on us in judgment. So we back with another lesson to the power and spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, I'm going to do one video weekly on the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast, or Elon Musk Neuralink brain chip, which is also the mark of the beast um and we back with another lesson to the power and spirit of yahweh by shimmy now we're about to tie a few things together now i don't have anything to read on speaking about the fed now but the fed now is now launched fed now is not a, a digital payment app like cash app or zelle or apple pay um Fed now it's a it's a digital payment system that different institutions and banks and corporations um can send money one to another in an instant. So for example, like Cash App, if you got some money on your Cash App, you want to deposit it into your bank account, you know, you gotta wait a couple days for it to drop. Or for example, you got a uh, direct deposit. You get paid on a certain day, but the money don't hit your account to a few days later. Or let's say you get a check, $1,500 check from work. You can go deposit the check into your bank, but the funds not going to hit your bank account to maybe the next day. Well, with Fed now, you can send and receive money in an instant. But it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, uh, a, 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 a bad side to that they're not telling you so you could receive money in an instant but they can also take your money in an instant just as fast as you can receive your payment they can take it away just as fast without you knowing so it's a pro and a con to it you know you get the money in the instant but they can take it in an instant well that's going on right now uh, all the major corporations and banks and financial institutions, they're converting to the Fed now. Well, there's another side or another phase to the Fed now that's going to come up. And that's the universal basic income. And let's read a little bit about this real quick. What is universal basic income? Universal basic income is a government program in which every adult citizen receives a set amount of money regularly and if i didn't mention it this lesson is going to be titled universal basic income equals digital stimulus checks so again universal basic income is when every adult receives a set amount of money uh regularly and this universal basic income what does it sound like it sounds like the stimulus checks, you know, going to the pandemic a couple years back. 
whenever your dog, you know, got they fourteen, sixteen hundred dollars, you know, the three or four times that the government sent out uh, stimulus checks, that was a practice run of the universal basic income. Well, those stimulus checks are coming back, but they're going to come back as universal basic income in the form of digital currency. <clears throat> and a lot of people uh, effed off their stimulus checks, spent it on all kind of BS. You know, they was able to go get the deposit their checks, take the money out. Well, with the universal basic income being on a digital currency, you're not going to be able to spend the money how you want to spend it. You're not going to be able to go withdraw it from an ATM or give money to somebody or go buy a bunch of weed. It's all going to be digital. You'll never see it. You'll never touch it. But let's continue. The goals of a basic income system are to alleviate poverty. So, yeah, universal basic income, everybody's going to get money. So what this really going to do is going to put everybody on the same level. It won't be rich or poor. Everybody just going to be middle class. Under universal basic income, everybody get paid the same amount of money, no matter what your job is. Everything from a physician to a school teacher to a janitor, no matter what your job is, you're going to get to pay the same amount of money. So again, it's to alleviate poverty and replace other need-based social programs. Let's continue. The idea of a universal basic income has gained momentum in the U.S. As automation increasingly replaced workers in manufacturing and other sectors of the economy. So pretty much universal basic income has gained momentum because there's a lot of people that's becoming unemployed through uh, robotics and technology uh, taking everybody's job. So that's why universal basic income is gaining attention. Let me see what else we see. But yep, to everybody rich or poor, they get a certain amount of money. Now this video we just saw was a video of universal basic income. And again, thanks to the Fed now, you can receive your money in a few seconds, but they can take it out as just as fast as you get it, as we saw. Let's watch it again. Bruce Kowalski, your monthly universal basic income has been deposited <clears throat> into your account. For more information, press details. You have been paid 2,000 central bank digital tokens. The following fees are being deducted. Accommodation fee. Food ration fee. Recycling fee. Clean energy fee. Personal greenhouse gas emissions fee. Climate change fee. Diversity fee. Your current remaining balance is five central bank digital tokens. See, with universal basic income, that's going to come back in a major way. Or I'm sorry, digital checks going to come back in a major way under the universal basic income. And you get your money in an instant, but they're going to be able to touch it in an instant as well. See, he started off with 2000 but he's only going to be left with five. Not only that, your digital currency would expire if you don't use it in a certain amount of days. So that's the thing with the stimulus checks. You know, you had a bunch of people being unemployed through the pandemic. And even now, you get people getting laid off, losing their jobs due to increases in technology. Also, you got people that's also unemployed because they lose their jobs due to a natural disaster, an earthquake, a tsunami, toxic chemical spills. Now you can no longer stay on a property that's polluted, uh, forest fires, grass fires, all kind of stuff. So universal basic income is a government program that pretty much give everybody money like they did with the stimulus checks. And a lot of people got dependent on those stimulus checks because they feel they didn't have to work. Well, that's why this universal basic income is going to become a huge deal. 
people going to figure, oh, whether I work or not, I'm still going to get this money uh, each month, no matter what I do. And that's the thing that's going to trip up a lot of people. But the thing is, unemployment is going to sharply increase. So we're going to go to the book of Syrac, better known as Ecclesiasticus. We're going to get chapter 12, verse 10 real quick. It reads, never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. So if Esau is willing to give you some free money every month, universal basic income, don't fall for it. Ain't nothing in the white man's world free, especially money. You know it's going to be a catch to it. And again, never trust thine enemy, which our chief enemy will be Esau, the so-called white man. For like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. So iron, when it starts to rust, it get worse and worse. So as the white man's wickedness, so never trust him. Well, a lot of people are going to be in a tough position where they're not able to work or get money, traditional paper money. So they're going to go get the universal basic income. The universal basic income is going to come in the form of CBDCs, Central Bank Digital Currencies, Digital Money. And we got this article right here. The WEF says Central Bank Digital Currencies must be implanted under your skin if you want to participate in society. How do you participate in society? Buying and selling. And when we read the subheading, it reads, the WEF has declared that all citizens must be implanted with a central bank digital currency microchip in the very near future in order to be able to fully participate in society and do basics basic things such as purchase food and water then when we read this first sentence it reads according to richard in the very near future citizens will need to use the latest technology such as the cbdc chip implant in order to access their bank accounts. So this man in this video, how do you think he has has access to this money? It's because he already been implanted with the RFID microchip. So a lot of people are gonna want that, that so-called free money, those monthly stimulus checks. Yeah, because the stimulus checks, we got what? A stimulus check every few months? Well, Esau going to bring that back and give you a digital stimulus check every month and call it universal basic income. The catch is you can only access that money through a CBDC microchip that must be implanted under your skin. And that's why when we go to the book of Isaiah chapter 30 verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children, you Israelites, saith the Lord Yahweh, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. So you go to the white man for help. You're going to go to him for a universal basic income. You're going to go to him to get the CBDC microchip implanted under your skin. You're going to go to him because you need money and you don't trust in the Lord. Well, let's continue. That walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth. So you didn't ask the Lord for help. You didn't ask him for guidance. You trust in the white man's advice to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Uh, that's America. So you want to strengthen yourself up or build yourself up, you know, the, the American way of doing things. Therefore, show the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. What's that? The money. What's on the back of the U.S. dollar? The pyramid. Why this going to be your shame? Well, you're going to do all this for some monthly stimulus checks. Digital stimulus checks. 
only to find out you got to get microchips to get it. Then once you get it and think you got all that money, you're going to find that they taking all your funds under all these hidden fees that they didn't tell you about. And then on top of all that, you're going to get destroyed with the nuclear missiles. Therefore, show the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. So this is really y'all a trick uh, that's going to leave you full of shame. You know, you're going to be worse off than you were before having no job. Because now you done pretty much sold your soul uh, to be microchipped. Well, that's why when we go to Revelation 13 and 16, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. So people might say, you know, I'm just going to get the CBDC microchip. Well, paper money is being phased out, and they're going to convert to the CBDCs. That's why the Fed now is now active. That's going to be the system that distributes uh, the money throughout America. So even if you don't, don't get the universal basic income, the CBDC in the microchip implant is still coming. That's why I said he calls of all. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So you won't be able to buy food, water, pay your bills, you know, to continue to function in society, to take care of you, your family, your children. But that's why the subpending reads, you know, they, be, they won't be able to do basic things such as purchase food and water. So they're going to starve and dehydrate the people and to force them into getting it. And for the people that say, well, they still not going to get it. Esau already got you in a trick bag. So when we read this paragraph right here, it reads, at the moment, there's talk about CBDCs being used via phone-based apps. So at first, you may be able to use a telephone app to access your central bank digital currencies. You know, that's temp that's, that's going to be temporal. Yes, that is the initial phase. But what was already around 2015 is the ultimate goal, what they really want. Apparently, I was told by a central banker, is CBDC looks like a small grain of rice that they want to put under your skin, which is the RFID microchip, which is my view of violation of human dignity. And they realize there is a hurdle to get people to accept this. So they know everybody is not going to be up for getting microchips. Well, let's see what they're going to do. It reads, so they're using crises, disruption, and unemployment to introduce universal basic income. So yeah, how are they going to get people to get microchips to get the universal basic income? They're going to use different crises. You know, such as earthquakes, tsunamis, uh, volcanic eruptions, forest fires, uh, uh, air quality crisis, um, the heat apocalypse. Pretty much, that's gonna that's gonna stop people from working. So different crises, different disasters, disruption, disruption of what of your money flow. You go on weeks to months at a time without no money coming in and unemployment. You just completely losing your job altogether. They're going to use that to introduce universal basic income. And again, when we now go to the book of Syrac, chapter 12, verse 16, it reads, it reads, if adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. So yeah, you find yourself in the middle of an earthquake or a tsunami or your corporation, your job is just shutting down because of the fellow economy. Well, Esau going to be the first one on the scene trying to help you. That's why the rest reads, and though he pretend to help thee, yet he shall undermine thee. So he's going to be the first one on the scene through all these different disasters, tornadoes, earthquakes, hurricanes, tsunamis, flash floodings, 
um, volcanic eruptions, air, air quality crises, you know, all that kind of stuff. He's going to be there to help you. But what is he trying to do? He's going to undermine you. He's secretly trying to get you uh, when you in need to microchip you. Now, let's go back to that reading real quick. So, yeah, so they're using crises, disruption, and unemployment <clears throat> to introduce universal basic income to soften the public up to accepting a CBDC chip implanted under the skin. So, they're going to wait till you in hurt, till you in need, till you're desperate for help, desperate for the survival of you and your loved ones. Then they're going to use that to soften up the public. They're going to use that to soften you up. They're going to come uh, talking soft to you, talking sweet to you, telling you they know you're going through it. They know you need some help, that they got you. And the scriptures speak on that. That's why we go up a verse. It reads, let me read this and go up. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. Verse 16. An enemy speak of sweetly with his lips. Yeah, so that matches up with the reading. They're going to use disruption, unemployment, and different disasters to soften the public up to accepting the CBDC chip. So the enemy, the so-called white man, is going to come speaking sweetly with his lips, telling you, oh, he's so sorry. You know, that he's going to be there for you for whatever you need. For you and your children. But in his heart, he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. So he's coming to you speaking sweetly in your time of need to microchip to, to microchip you. He will weep with his eyes, but if you find an opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. Yeah, verse 18, he will shake his head, he will clap his hands, and whisper much and change his countenance. So he going to act like he's sad with you and feel bad for you. But that's all just to microchip you. You know, to soften you up, speaking sweetly. That's the equivalent, you know, a girl break up with a boyfriend or she having a rough time. Then another man come to that girl when she's vulnerable and try to speak sweet things to her to get her to open up to him. Open up to him either emotionally or open up to him physically. That's what Esau is trying to do. So that what? That he can penetrate that girl. Well, Esau trying to penetrate you, you know, with something to give you that RFID microchip. And let's see, you will get 2,000 euros into your account every month. But of course, to run this efficiently, they need to use the latest technology. And what's that latest technology? That CBDC uh, microchip, the Fed now. And it's funny that even in this video, he started with 2,000 digital tokens. And let's see what happened. You have been paid 2,000 central bank digital tokens. The following fees are being deducted. Accommodation fee. Food ration fee. Recycling fee. Clean energy fee, personal greenhouse gas emissions fee, climate change fee, diversity fee. Your current remaining balance is five central bank digital tokens, and if not spent, it will expire in seven days. See that? Um, going back to Isaiah chapter 30 verse 3, therefore show the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. So you can go through all this trouble to get microchips thinking you're going to get all this money and have it made just to get it all taken from you. Then to find out you can't even save money. That you got to uh, use it or lose it. In the trust of shadow of Egypt, your confusion. And you can speculate that they was in the middle of a crisis because food rationing that means there's a shortage of food. You're going to get enough food based on the number of people in your household. A climate change fee. You can assume that there's going to be climate change and different disasters. 
that's breaking up America. And they got to tax you out your digital currency to use that money to help build up the place. So he started out with 2000 and only got five to himself. Haggai one and six. You have so much and bring in little. You eat, but you have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. So speaking about our people laboring here in America, he that earn of wages, earn of wages to put it into a bag with holes. That's the taxes, all the different fees here in America. Well, this is speaking about physical money. Well, this central bank digital currency, that money is not going to never touch a money bag. That money is never going to hit your pockets. So at least with the physical dollar, at least when you did have holes in your pockets or holes in your wallet, you know, at least the money was there. But with this here, it's not going to never touch a bag. It's not going to never touch your wallet. It's not going to never touch your pocket. So it's really not yours. So now we're going to go to the book of Revelation 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his right hand or in his forehead, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment is sent up forever and ever. And they have no rest day or night who worship the beast in his image and whosoever receiveth the mark, the mark of the beast, the RFID microchip, that same mark in Revelation 13, 16, and 17. That no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark. And that lines up again with the article going up. In order to be able to fully participate in society and do basic basic things such as purchase food and water, or they got to get that CBDC market chip. And the last scripture we're going to get before we close out, Book of Syrac 12 and 13. Who will pity a charmer? that is bitten with a serpent, or any such as come nigh wild beasts. So you think of a charmer that played a flute, that get the snake to start dancing, then the snake bite him. Well, that's all the snake can do to you. It got no legs, it got no feet, it got no hands or arms. The only thing it, it can do is, is bite you. That's the only result when you playing with a snake or a serpent is gonna bite you. So you mess around, you get bit by the serpent, meaning you get bit with that needle, you get the RFID microchip, nobody's going to pity you. In the nuclear destruction, you burn it with that nuclear fire, nobody's going to pity you. Because again, who will pity a charmer that is bitten by the serpent? This is the same serpent in the Garden of Eden. He's back today to make you eat of that forbidden fruit, you know, for the final time. And what's that forbidden fruit? This RFID microchip, Elon Musk brain chip, this digital cashless society that they convert into. They want you to be a part of it. So you get by the serpent this go around, there's no escape, no repentance for you. And hey, that's it for this. That's it here. Until next time. Shalom.